Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. Not a topwater edition, but this is where we catch largemouth bass and I show you how to have fun catching largemouth bass. So buckle up and hang on, it's gonna be a good one. Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. We're out on the water and we're trying to figure out why it is so light already. There's already somebody here fishing. That's a first. Anyway, buckle up, hang on, Bass and Bonsai on the water, gonna catch some largemouth bass. We're out in Matt's Skeeter boat again. And Matt tells me we're not gonna miss any fish. Not one, we may not even get a bite. That may be why we don't miss any. <laughs> but I'm working on trying to stay hooked up with the fish I set the hook on. Once I feel that weight, now you know, you're gonna have them hit weird and you're gonna yank, nothing's there kind of deal. But once I feel the weight of the fish, how many I get into, how many I don't, and try to try to pick up my uh, odds on that because it's been sucking the last couple weeks. And it could just be the hot weather, they definitely jump more and I'm kind of fishing a lighter rod overall, right? Catch the biggest fish possible on the lightest rod. Well, that may be out the window until I get a better hookup ratio going. So buckle up, hang on. Let's get this Skeeter boat in action. Oh wait, we're missing great one. All right, Matt just had a little bitty peck. Let me see if that little, whatever. Oh, I have first cast. Oh, you, I didn't even see you throw. Little bitty freaking dink. <laughs> ah. A little freaking green sunfish first it just hit the water too i don't even think the bait got wet before he grabbed it hit that little tail we just started and man look at that we're still skunk though we don't have a bass yet uh-oh we let's go got the new aldebaran 22 bfs on the tetan i think i'm gonna keep it on this is a very i would call this my favorite bfs rod and reel so yes, best overall combo. This is by far my favorite topwater bait in the last couple years. This little bitty Pop X in the white python color. Matt actually gave me the white python in the Pop Max and it is nowhere near as good as this littler one. Good morning. Hello. Yeah, right when we get down here, he's like, you know what, I forgot the grass. Grabs his phone, I'm like, I know who he's calling. Uh -huh. <laughs> Told you, leave me alone when I'm yeah, thank you, ma'am. Love you, bye. Whoa. Are you leaving? All right, I'm regrouping. Matt said he's got a bass. And he, he does, but he's about the same size as my green sunfish from earlier. All right, we're on the board. Bass in the boat. I feel that I've adapted over the years to this. Like, I use a like on the verge of being a medium, but like a medium, oh, there was a, finally a little bitty one, dude. Oh, that sucks. But like I use, and probably my favorite of all time was my seven or six foot seven, that that uh, Abu Garcia rod I had, the Fantasista. It was a very expensive rod, but I got it cheap off eBay somehow. I lucked into it like a hundred bucks. It's like a $500 rod. That rod was perfect for chatterbaits. And it was pretty friggin' stout, but it was a little short one. But I was fishing Z-Man Originals with that little bit bigger, you know what I mean, hook. Or I, I was trying shad or whatever this white python color is supposed to be. Oh, little. Well, you know what's eating this perch? <laughs> what you call perch are eating this. I'm catching them. I'm on the wrong species. I think I've already caught uh, a little bit of everything except the bass what i need now is another catfish We're going for the dude i rewatched and when i put that video i'm like man i'd love uh -huh. to have that matt says he's got a nice bass of course he's not fishing top water might be a catfish he ain't even come up yet oh there he is that ain't a catfish Ooh, uh -huh. it might be this is good whatever it is what did you switch to chatterbait yeah. You just he's a he's a good fish. We've been catching dinks all morning, so they suck, and then now you catch a good one. It's like, whoa, it's a giant. You know what Mike Iaconelli on us? It's huge, it's the biggest fish I've ever oh wait, no, it's just a pound and a half. He's, he's a big fighter. He's a big monster. Nope. He's over our fish. Setting in that one spot. Back to where we started. The wind's 
definitely different today, that's for sure. I say, yeah, hit this until we get to our couple good coves we did, and then if we change from there. Ooh, it's not hot yet, but we're trying to fire up, get this bite hot. Yep, I'm gonna have to go ahead and do it now. We ain't catching a lot of fish. We ain't catching fish. What's Matt doing? Dynamite? What do you got in that rod locker? What's Matt got in that rod locker? A little old stick of dynamite. I like he, dynamite. He still got some quarter sticks from 4th of July. We're gonna get him. We're gonna wake him up. Well, Matt's going. I'm sticking with this white chatterbait just for briefly. Matt's going with the white rattle trap. I'm glad Matt's got a long boat because that rattle trap too it's, it's close enough to me now when he rears straight back. Note to self, don't take Matt fishing in your little eight foot boat. You will end up with hooks. Let me try him over there for you right by that stump. There's a I got him. I hear that braid. I can already tell you that, that noise. I set that hook good. I was like, there's one. Let's pay attention to my hook sets. He ain't big, but he was stuck. He, wasn't going nowhere. he was not coming off. I instantly heard that braid kick in when you got pressure on it. That's why I kind of went away from four strand. You have a hit? I still feel four strand is probably your best. No, this is actual... Uh, Oh, fingernail polish on this one. Well, I sanded it down this time. You know, I did a light scuffing on it and repainted it, so. Oh, got him, got him. Oh my goodness, looky there. What is going on with these ducks? What's up with these Canadians? All right, get. All right, guys, let's go. I know I gave him a little nudge. It was with my left foot. I'm right footed, so let's go. Let's throw that. Got one. Now that's a little ways out. Stay on. Man, this braid's got to go. You hear that? Uh -huh. Jesus. It's been so long since I fished with four strand. It's like, okay, that's annoying. Now, I have found, I guess, in my older age, some of those annoying noises, you know. You hear, you hear it's like, oh, that is freaking annoying. Y'all go into places like, I'll go into Casey's and they got some machine in the back when you get by the pop machine. I'm like, I don't know how you guys can deal with that all day long. So what's that? I'm like, you don't hear that noise? What is that? I hate. Oh, that's the song. I was like, I would have done killed that thing. Yeah. What are those steak things? Is that just showing the stumps? Oh, I did have one. So Matt's got That's one. That's where all the stumps are. He's out here swimming, looking for one that day. Huh. wonder why he's doing that. Because the first time he was out here on his boat, he hit about 20 of them. Oh, so he's like, I'm going to freaking mm -hmm. mark every freaking stump. Oh, boy. Matt's got one. I've said it once, I've said it again. They'll always hit a chatterbait. You just gotta figure out what color they want. If it's in, I don't know, what is it? Chatterbait's probably depth like six foot or shallower. Yeah, probably. If there's a fish up there, as long as that water temp's above 55, I do believe that a normal size chatterbait, it takes dang near 50, 50 degrees or warmer. 55 helps, but it definitely shuts off for me anyway in the winter. I catch them up. I caught a few on that little bitty chatterbait. Oh, I did not set the hook. That's a good. Oh, I did not get a good hook set the first one, so I kind of reset it. But I was at a weird angle. I kind of like was. You ever had that? Like you try to do something, but you just can't. You're just not set like for a good hook set. 
But there, oh, geez, it's, I could not hold on to that bass. <laughs> he shook, and then when he did it again, he just pulled out of my hands. My hands are too slick. That dude was on fire. Let's go. We got a bait that works because it's a chatter bait. Look at all these stumps. Oh my God. We're going to catch a giant right here. I can feel it. You guys smell that? It's success. All right, Matt, let's get him. Let's go. Waiting on me. Yeah, I get it. We need a big bass now. Which I've talked about, I, I think I even heard myself talking about it in that video. I'm like, we'd never make it to this side because there's never wind on this side. Now today, this morning, we got some wind. We just start, I think we started out in the wrong cove. I think that's a later in the afternoon cove. That's probably where we should become this morning. That's a party cove. They're all partying overnight and they, they need a little rest in the morning. They're not ready. Hopefully this one has a man it should have fish in it how deep is it right here though it's not that deep yeah actually it should be good because that deeper water comes in a little and then these stumps like fill in all the area up tor towards the bank it should just be loaded with fish yeah that's why i was surprised to see that 800 dollar rod just sitting out yeah well i know rogers they're good about they they just have all their rod there's a fish right there all right, well, we're doing good. Once I'm like, there he is, and I set the hook, I seem to have him. So right there, the sharp is definitely sharp and seems to be a good chatterbait rod. And the good news is, I think it's even good for these smaller hooked uh, chatterbaits. But I'm still gonna get some of the other ones just because they're heavier. And we'll have a very good assortment. Let's try this side of the bank. Here's a cast that. Okay. It's gonna be back there by you, so you're gonna be moving. I think we're already on it. Yeah, put that power up. There. Here's a shot. Oh boy. Oh. Good shot. Oh man, it's perfect. Definitely won't be a fish. <laughs> No wait, it is. I did not get a good hook set. I did not really yank quite the way I wanted to. That one was me out of position. I tried to yank thinking the butt of the rod was up against my gut and it well, wasn't. And so the hook set was weird. All right, black and blue. All right, let's try one more over there. I'm just going old school, black and blue freaking worm, or a chatterbait. I said worm because Matt's going to go with a little worm. And when I do switch, remind me, Matt, don't let me even throw anything. Throw, I want that black and blue. Everything black and There's blue. another one. Little, oh, he came off, but that was a little dink. Because I had that black, blue, blue fleck or whatever, which seems to almost have a hint of purplish color to it. That was one I caught the big fish on the... There we go. It's loaded up right there, Matt. Yeah, that's three out of that same area right there. And they're getting bigger. Yep. All right. All right, we saved our morning. Black and blue chatterbaits. You got to throw it on a purple rod, though. That's key. About color, Matt. Oh, well, and then look, you got to have a purple piece of freaking duct tape on your thumb because you're more on you. Messed it up. You don't even know how you did it. <laughs> One thing when you guys get older, I don't know if Matt's as old yet, but like your skin ain't what it used to be You'll just find stuff you jacked up and you're like, how'd you I don't even know I never felt it and it's just wounded now My elbow has been messed up for about three weeks. All right. No There's problem. another one Matt. They're just right there every cast It's like the winds pushed them in against that tree thing there and they're just stacked up They're not they probably wouldn't even be keepers in tournament, but they're fun to catch, even on this bigger rod. There. There's be yeah, there's got to be something up in this. We definitely need to take our time and hit this whole area. I can't even stop recording. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to take my time. I'm going to get that big one, too. That four straight throws? Five? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, there's one out of, oh, no. out of like, what, eight fish? Uh -huh. I did miss one. I'm probably getting worn out. 
No, no. Oh, no. Well, that was, I did bounce off something. I started to set the hook. To, oh, I'm getting anxious now. I'm dragging. You just know it's gonna happen. I'm getting, getting gun shy. Whew. Now, in my defense, that last one could have just been half-heartedly hitting too. Just kind of like I half-heartedly set the hook. But yeah, that was game on. That would have been, I only got three in. That was five fish in that spot. Same cast right through this area. Now that one didn't hit till I got up in here. It's still nuts, that many fish right there. Yeah, that's, and that's how they'll stack up, especially like the days like this, that summertime, I need to fix my bait. It's a little bit, a lot of times that's all it is, a little squirrely looking in it. And they're in the shade still. They're behind yeah. Come on, give me one more big and now's when I need to rig up my worm and throw it right in there too, just to try them. Somehow we've only been on one like excellent little honey hole. But we figured out. I did bring my lucky bracelet that Maddie made me. Matt doesn't have his. Really? Get out yeah, of here. I think I'm going to keep this fate 13 thing as my rattle trap rod. And then the other one seems to be working pretty good. Yeah, I was probably, I'm throwing out even deeper. I was probably 30 foot away from those stumps you can see. And I was still bouncing this rattle trap off the bottom of something out there. Like, really? so it's pretty shallow. Oh, there's a freaking fish way out there, Matt. Do you see how far out I threw? Look at that. <laughs> that is probably, what, 80 foot from the bank? Uh, yeah, and, I mean, we were probably 40 feet. I mean, he ain't big, but that is a bass just out there in the middle of nowhere, basically. And that's probably what's going on. They're just kind of suspended out there. Yep, and they're deeper. It's oh, probably a little cooler. Only 10 foot right, there. right, it's just a little, they're on that edge of the real deep water to that where it starts to get shallower I'm starting to be a believer in these little strike king freaking uh rattle traps go past it real quick there yep, yep. let's try one out there i all i did that on purpose just to get matt out of the way and get this shot Give me a little front shot right here out ahead of us with this rattle trap. Yeah, turn the boat around. I'm hung up back there. Okay, <laughs> hang on. Hang on, give me a minute. I think I got, almost got it. I did too, right there. Oh my goodness, I just wanted to get that fish too, Matt. I'm glad I did that. Had to get it, get it before I did. Had to get this big monster. Matt was just gonna get him and let him steal some of his bait is all was, Matt was gonna do with this dude. Yeah, Matt's trying to feed the fish. You want to feed something, get some bread and go feed the ducks. <laughs> These Canadian geese. Yeah, it's a miracle they're not over here honking. All right, let's go. I can't figure out which to what to throw. It's like you can catch a fish, but there's nothing... You got to throw like 20 minutes and it's a little dink, but you can catch them on both baits. I might stick with this guy for a minute. Oh, the worm's coming. There in. you go. That worm is kicking in for Matt. But yeah, the, uh, now the lose that's coming out, you'll see it. It's their most expensive one. It's a $500 reel. So that puts you up there right with the steez. But, uh, it is like an all chrome looking reel with gold highlights and it's got they got a different the the knobs aren't those real big wind grip ones yeah. they're a little bit known yeah they're a little bit thinner wind gripped ones that look nice they're long but not real thick i mean i'm just i'm just telling you that rod i had a <sighs> did you see that uh -uh. Did you have one? i thought i was stuck on that stump so when I pulled it, it did this, and then it let go. As I just, you know, tugged on, I didn't set the hook. I Jesus. Mine is. I just seen that one. He was about that big. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, I didn't I didn't set the hook to him. <laughs> just reeled it over it. Yeah, I just was like, eh. Let me get it off there. I got it off the fish alright. Let me hook this worm back up. This worm and me aren't getting along. This is the first throw I haven't had a fight on this. That's why it was hard to put it down. Like every throw I was feeling something. That's because it's so small, you're getting these little dinks. All right, let's... Oh, look at that dink. There you go. We're on them. Look at that. Matt was on the big ones. Over here on the bank with no wind. Well, the wind's changed a little bit. Winds have changed. It's like a scorpion song. I was going to say, isn't that a song? Yeah. Showstopper coming up, boys. It's getting hot. We're going to go sit in AC. I'm going to throw some lines out in the I watch. Who'd you say that guy that you like to watch fishing? Which fisherman? Uh, there, there, he he, there he is. Am I recording? Yeah. yeah. Not as good as I thought. Nope. Better. Not as good you led us to believe with the shade. No showstopper. we got to keep fishing in this heat. Andy Montgomery. Is that who you like? He's my favorite. Andy Montgomery. No. Who was I watching? Not the phone. No. Oh, shoot. Jason Christie. Oh. Dude with the hoodie thing. Yep. But he was out there fishing. He's one of the only first ones I watched. He was out there. You could tell he was making a video talking about, you know, the bait he was using or whatever. He was like, yeah, we had a pretty good day. He goes, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get out here. I'm going to go find me some AC. <laughs> you know, you tell, he was like, I'm done. And the bite was definitely tough, you know, because he only caught so many. You could just tell, like, when they put a video together. If they're really on him or if he's struggling to make that thing work. Yeah, out there all day. And you yeah, you can tell he's like, it is hot. This bait, it took a while to get, you know, the footage. You can just see it. You know, you can tell. And he's like, I'm going to go find some AC. He's over there. There you go. He might have this oh boy. Nope. I'll let him have it. For little a little dink. You need to fish a bigger worm, dude. That's a little bitty son of these. I have so much fun with these. Oh boy. Okay, we are geared up and ready to go. And if for some reason we do get on a bunch of fish and I have to turn this into two videos, this is the end of part one. Probably not, though. It's not that great a day going. <laughs> but we've switched out. It's all about long sleeve shirts, right, Matt? Yes, for sure. Long sleeve shirts and staying cool and staying hydrated. And the best way to stay hydrated, boys and girls, is to either uh, Diet Coke or Coke Zero. Don't let anybody tell you any different. They're going to tell you water, right? That's just dumb. That's just to get you to buy bottled water. When it, come, it comes out of your tap basically for free, you pay one monthly cheap service to get it out of your tap. So once again, buckle up, hang on. We're going to catch a largemouth bass or two dinks. What do we find out? Yeah. We almost forgot what the fish look like. So I switched up. I had white on, which it, it worked up there, but I noticed over here the water looks a little clearer. So I'm going to go with a couple more natural colors than just a white, like a crawdad color, maybe even a baby bass color, just to try them. Because one thing we've spotted, these little bitty, real little baby bass, and we're catching little bass, the place is loaded with bass. Probably the biggest thing the big bass eat is probably little bass. Fish, let's go. Come on, you guys need to get out and eat before it gets too hot. Don't want to wait till tonight. Tonight, there we go. Green rattle trap. Oh, you was way out there. Yeah, I threw. Oh, did he come up? No. Uh oh, uh oh, we got a double. Mickey's coming at me. Oh yeah. I was way out there. Nice little chunk. There we go. First double of the day. I had to work for mine. He was way out there. He is, Jesus, I'm going to show you this fish. I did not do all this damage to him. This is a dude that does not learn. 
he won't stop shaking. Hang on, buddy. Ooh, I can see it. Hang on, I don't want to mess you up any more than you already are. Yeah, he's already jacked. I don't think I did that. Well, maybe I did. Mwah. For luck. I'm kissing him. Yeah. yeah, so I said this that time of year if those ones are dying off, you know, getting real can't hardly swim and then these other fish are just picking them off. Picking them off and they're not hungry. There's a little bump. Little bitty bump. Let's back up that little bitty bump. Little bitty. Little bump bump right there. Let's see if I can bump bump him with the worm. Got him. <laughs> Backed him up with the worm. I was like, let's just see. And I was in the same spot, I'd swear. That's probably what bumped that bait. Just didn't want to, you. He ain't done yet, he? No, he is not done. Let's check him now. You done yet, macaroni? Oh, look, mac and cheese is done. Look at his back. Dude. Ooh, I, I guarantee a turtle got him. My goodness, that's funny. Is that's why you'll find them a lot of them. They, mm -hmm. it's like something grabbed them from this way, and they managed to get away when they were little. But they, they definitely show the scars from it. All right, backup bait definitely worked. Then paid off. Got my worm. All right, Matt's digging deep in his box. I'm. That ain't one of them. Is that one of them bags from Bass Pro or whatever? Yeah, Twelve no, bucks. It's, it's yeah, the Bella's bag, but it's from Bass Pro. Yeah. They're like twelve dollar bag. I probably need to go buy me one if they're still on sale. Like that right there. Matt's got him a good one. Nice little chunk. I'm gonna go get his mama. Right there in that shaded spot. There you go. Yeah, he don't want to be scared. He wants to fight for the king. Now, now he's gonna fight it out for you. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get Matt's big bass right here off this stop. That's playing around with that little pound and a half or if that, I'm gonna get him right there. Oh mama wants you. Get over there! Oh he's over there. Oh man. No, he's on the other side. I see him. I see him. Let you get out of the way there. I'm letting mine soak. I got a big five pounder staring at it right now. Oh, there we go. He's going to googly googly. Get him. This is the day, though, when the bite's a little off. One of, one of us is going to get on that big. Whoa! Now, can we get it in? I can already feel it coming. It's right. There it was. There it was. Get on there. Yeah, this water, if it's down, it's only like by an inch or two. Think so? Yeah, see that stump? That stump oh, was yeah. only maybe a couple inches, or now it's only maybe an inch or two further out than it was last time we were by this area. There you go. He felt nicer than that when he took yeah, off. Yeah, it's a nice chunk. I can tell by bending that rod when you said that, that wasn't a definitely a little bitty one. You know what really sucks? This is the last bandito bug I got. There you go. Curse you, Googans. Uh, Matt's got him. Oh, but he just ran it up just enough to use it again. This is getting more bites for me than anything. 
Well, there's a worm, but yeah. I'm actually catching them on this. Uh oh, something, something happened over here. There's branches out in the freaking water. That's where this one just come from. About where you're at, right there. Oh, you talking about back there? Throw right back there again. Well, if Matt won't throw back there again, I will. Well, what you getting? Throw a bandito. The answer to the bandito bug, I'll drag it right through that spot. There it is, too. Oh, <laughs> it was a little. Watch the line. That may be on there. I'm not feeling that. That fish, is, that fish is on there the whole time. Little. Probably swallowed it. There may be a little school of them right there. No, no, he did. He. I just felt like a. I'm like, as soon as it hit, because about the time it should have hit bottom, I felt something tink, 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 tink. Yeah, I bet you there's a. Uh, probably... Seems like where there's one, there's definitely could be more anyway. That was more Two or so three. Moving bottom. The answer to your bandito bug may be shake your head with the zinkers or just the zinkers on your Texas rig. And a new one would probably be better for this kind of using it, just dragging it along. There there's you go. One. There you go. There you go. Am I even recording you? There you go. I see that one. I don't think he's any better than the last one. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is, Mike Iaconelli. <laughs> Reverse. Get him in. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like the opposite of Mike Iaconelli. I don't think he's that big. <laughs> Biggest fish of the day, anyway. He's not that big. Boy, he's throwing him. Yeah, I'm going to end up breaking that. Get him in. Let me help you out. I think this... I think a squirrel knocked down branches so we could tell where the bigger ones are. Yeah, that's a good three and a half. I bet you. I think it's just a color. Was that like a watermelon red uh, flake? Yeah. I bet you just that color. You got other baits with that color. Oh, yeah. Because it's kind of cleared up a little more. That is an awesome fish. Those are when they're real fun to catch, no matter really what rod and reel you got. Yeah, you just feel, even that big one. Yeah, they, 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 they might be a little bigger. They feel good. Sure On this little feeling rod, they'll feel like a gigantic monster. The bite is definitely tough now, so we're out of here. Thanks for watching. Uh, Matt, was there even a bait that really was the best bait? Like, there was not really any great. No, I don't think color bait or anything. Yeah, that stood out. We were just them. covering water, and bam, we got on them. Like, there was a period where the black and blue chatterbait seemed like oh that's good and then it totally just went away i didn't catch another fish on a black and blue chatterbait and did we even catch any on a white rattle trap a couple little ones the white rattle trap is that game is like totally gone now in this heat but we've had crazy uh last i think it's been over 10 years since we had this much hot weather days in a row and today is no exception you guys look up see it's like clear bright we do have wind that's the only reason we're still out here right now it is crazy windy so anyway get out go bass bonsai but whatever you do make sure you have fun doing it stay tuned i'm going out fishing tomorrow probably solo by myself i'm gonna catch a giant for you guys or try no not die trying try to catch a giant thanks for watching